Well, I got another power stroke in the shop today for 7.3 glow plugs. All the tools you should need some sort of screwdriver. That one just happens to be a multi bit. 3 8 ratchet, a couple different extensions, a 13, a 14, and a 12, and 10 millimeter, also in sockets, and a wobble. These are ratcheting. I just happen to have these to be all you need to do this if you have a lot of miles on them and they've never been touched might want to pick you up a set of intake gaskets they're supposed to be reusable but if they fall apart in your hand you need to replace them also you need eight motorcraft not a lot motorcraft 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 only glow plugs You also need some dielectric grease and anti-seize. Anti-seize should go put a dab on these threads and dab on the top right here and you're good to go. So you ask, well, now what you got to take off? Since also got a can and air filter on it too. But <clears throat> I'll point out a few things while I'm under here. There's where your thermostat is. <laughs> Um, so you're gonna need to remove your intake too. You're gonna need to remove both of your intercooler lines, and that's about really all you gotta remove to be able to get to the valve covers. Everything else, you just work around it. So now you just have to wait for more parts. Thanks. Man. All right, so. An hour and 23 minutes later, I've got this side of the valve cover off, which I used some air tools, obviously. Um, had troubles getting the uh, intake off, but other than that, it came off fine. Okay, so an hour and a half later, and a little extra time, and I should have done this, but I forgot to do more details on this side um, something you might want to get I've done a bunch of these and I hadn't had any problems out of this yet until today these are called kink crate kink crate kink bleh, crank case breather o-rings there's one it's okay there's the other what happened was is it got stretched when I pulled it off it got stretched pretty good so obviously this is a customer vehicle I'm not gonna try to make this work because it ain't gonna happen I'm not that kind of a mechanic I'm not that shade tree type of person but anyways but I got that side done I got that side done in about an hour and a half um, and I've been fighting I've been on the phone trying to find those pieces and on this side I had one of these come off real easily um, and the other one just has decided to break and is not wanting to come off so I've been fighting a multitude of different things and also the customer is a is a friend of ours um, or mine, uh, and, uh, anyways, but he come down here and was looking at some stuff, I, I told him he'd come down here and look at stuff, he's good friends with my parents, and, uh, they were all hanging out, you know, chilling, talking, shooting the bull, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, so, they were doing that, I invited him, told him he'd come down, if he wanted to look at what his motor looks like under the valve covers and stuff, he could do so. So he'd come down here and he's relatively knowledgeable, but not extremely knowledgeable. Had a multitude of questions. And uh, he uh, was asking some questions and my dad was answering them and then they kept getting in my way because I was on that side of the motor, which was the one I was working on. So. Um, yeah, but, uh, that cost me a little time, too, there. 
but not not too much not as much as you'd think but uh so now i'm waiting on that part to get here well my dad's gonna go and he's gonna go match him up at napa so match it up with something at napa we'll get the we'll get him the somewhat correct part at least there we go piece of crap but anyways so there's an update and i'll do a video here in a few minutes um after i get this valve cover off on how to actually check them um so thanks for watching so three and a half hours later i'm basically done i just got to put the intake back on got the other side done um I'm going to go over a couple things here. Some of the stuff that's more in depth here now that I've done it. So it's fresh in my mind. But you got to take this clamp down here off. There's a clamp for your intercooler. You got to take this one off so you can see it's shiny where it rubs some dirt off. You got to take it off. You got to take it out. It's a little bit hairy to get out. Um, there's a, uh, a vacuum hose tube that goes up to this sensor. Don't ask what it is because I don't remember off the top of my head. But you got to take it off. Just take it off and fold it back up over here somewhere. And you'll be all right. Um, that's about it. Working on this side, you're going to have two bolts that are going to be real close to your uh, condenser. If I remember my AC class correctly. Um, or your AC box, more commonly known to most people. You're going to have something that's going to be real close to that. So you have to be careful. Um, a, not mess it up. And B, there's two of them there. One of them, they're both kind of hard to get to. One of them, you know, actually, if you go underneath through there, you can feel around and feel it and actually break it loose by hand with a wrench. That's that side. And if I had, had problems taking the intercooler hoses and stuff off of this side, I'd probably got it done in about two and a half hours. I got about ten more minutes worth of work. This side's really easy to get to. Plug this back in. Or actually, no, I'm gonna leave that open. Um, you can test glow plugs through there. I'm not gonna do it. I just had that off for a video. Um, I gotta get that to go in there. But anyways. So you can see some grease where I put on the firewall, but it's relatively easy to get this side off. You just take it off and everything. Hook everything back up. But, uh, and you, yes, you do have to undo this. Some people can do it without doing that. I found it to be much easier. Um, I'll tighten that up in a minute, but I'm gonna go over the tools you're gonna need. Just have to vote me. If you're gonna replace them, just replace them. You don't even gotta test them. Um, I use the 3 8 ratcheting wrench. Some of this stuff you don't have to have, say, a, like this is a flex head ratcheting. You don't have to, but that's what's on. My name 3 8s. I don't remember what it is. So it's 16, I think, or 10 millimeter. Um, I just take that back. I don't think I use the uh, the 3 8s on anything. Um, stand on this thing without dying here um, that is a uh, 7 six, or 10 millimeter here just tighten it good and snug is just right, perfect for that connector um, just gotta take that off gotta take that piece off take all those off you don't really need that many sockets um, everything is pretty much a 13 millimeter on the valve covers as far as to get everything off. Uh, um, you need a 14, a 13, a 12, um, a half and a couple spots, like two things, and a 10 millimeter socket. Um, you also need a pair of channel locks or pliers uh, to be able to get that breather hose off. Um, you also need a 7 16 wrench or a 11 millimeter to take care of your intercooler uh, lines uh, and a, a long extension and uh, their wobble extension will help but if you got one of these little universal joint dealies will work a lot easier for you make it a little quicker if you got an air ratchet like I do um, even though it screwed up on me a few times 
it's all good though but uh that's pretty much about it and then all these wrenches are pretty much the same thing um i was using a little quarter quarter drive um i use that with a uh, 10 millimeter socket and a long extension uh along with this a uh, little quarter drive screwdriver deal um didn't really use a screwdriver on anything but that way i can uh by hand take and put in those uh glow plugs but uh here's the sorry here over here there's all the glow plugs i don't have any new ones to compare it to because they're all in the motor currently but uh some of these you can see pretty easily that they're uh swollen and he's uh, been able to start finding in the summertime but he's having problems last winter and then by the time I got the opportunity to do them, it was summer, so he didn't need them. But I'm glad we went ahead and did them now instead of later, because once they start swelling, they kind of swell pretty quick, and you'll run into more issues, because then they'll be stuck in the head and you can't get them out. So I know this is a lengthy video on how to do 7.3 glow plugs. Um, if there's anything I can do as far as helping you, if you got any questions, shoot me a comment. Uh, and again, I apologize for the length. So there you go. Thanks for watching.